Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bardia. Crown Royal Noble Collection Barley Edition. Ooh, it's noble, baby. That means purple. Purple. Malted and unmalted barley. Ooh, malted and unmalted. We're going to test it. Almost Canadian Irish whiskey Ooh. single pot whiskey style. Ooh, we like pot. us some barley, baby. Here we go. I just, yeah, I just realized that though. Uh, Irish single pot still method uses malted and unmalted barley. True. So is this a Irish whiskey representation from of course, Canada? Of course, they do that real cool thing where there's going to be like a bunch of blended. So they're blending in. Here's a bunch of malted barley barrels, and here's a bunch of unmalted barley, bar, barely, barely, barley barrels. It's hard to say barley barrels. Sorry. And we're going to blend them together. It was impressive. Yeah. Barley barrels, barely. <laughs> you just tossed that. Has not been opened yet. 45% ABV. This is uh, the annual limited edition that Crown... I believe it's annual they put these okay. out. We've sure. done a it's couple. Noble. It's noble. There it is. It's perfect. Noble. Noble. <laughs> Uh, we've done a couple of these. I don't remember the last one. Well, we did. There was the, the standard edition Northern Harvest Rye. Well, yeah, And then there was, was a rye edition. That but they the Nobles are always more expensive, and they're always doing different things with them. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. I like their Winter Harvest Rye. Let me pour yours first, good sir. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with tradition. And you got a glass that the barrel cap does not work on. Ooh, good point. Yeah, I just reached. I left my uh, Glen Cairn over there, so I grabbed a little copita. Oops, and I'm trying to put the barrel cap Ooh, in the bottle. Well, look at that. We all messed little up. A little bit different presentation from your standard yeah. Crown Royal editions. Right. fancier. 45% ABV. I did say that. 750 milliliters. We like to get that out of the that way. Good. Do the 750, baby. There should be a dance. A song, oh, do, the do the 750. Do the 750, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll coin it. We'll coin it. What do you got on there? What's the nothing, verbiage? Nothing. Nothing. Blob. Marketing. Blah, 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 Carefully blah. crafted. Purple. One purple, of a kind. Noble, noble. Had fun. <laughs> yeah. Smells good? Well, what you were referencing, what Canada whiskey does, mm -hmm. if you're not familiar. Canadian. Or Canadian whiskey. Mm -hmm. Canadian distilleries. They distill 100% corn whiskey. Mm -hmm. They distill 100% wheat, 100% rye. I like that. 100% barley. Yes. And then they'll come in, they'll go take 20% wheat, combine it, blend. Yep. It they, blend they use the term blending, yep. even though it's from one distillery. Sure. Because they're they've got all these single barrels of just 100% corn, 100% barley, 100% unmalted. Yeah. You know what? Grab that one that's been in there for eight years. Not that one, the other one. Yeah, so that's right. We like that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it means that's, they've got all the recipes sitting in their barrels. Yeah. That's the cliff note version. Yes. Good point. Yeah, there's more details. You can dive deeper if you so choose. All right. Nose. A not sweet. much coming out, though. I'm not getting like a whole it's, bunch of... It's so... 45%, little bit lower, better than 40. Yeah. Canadian whiskey. 43. Canadian whiskey generally is, it's a, they're blended. They usually come off just lighter, mm -hmm. sweeter. Um, and the nose, uh, really cinnamon was the first thing that I got. A sweet, Ooh. a sweet cinnamon. Hmm. And vanilla. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. So, um, I would say the flavors are softer, rounded, maybe even a little bit muted, but it's this. What is that? It's a, it's a, it's a soft, kind of a sweet yet. I don't know. I almost wanted to say pine, but it's not pine. Hmm. 
Cinnamon butterscotch. Okay. Really came to Definitely mind. got the butterscotch. I'm not getting cinnamon though. I don't know about pine, but yeah, maybe it'll it's make some quite show. pine. It's something like hmm? well, some arbor influence though. And it's not maybe it's the wood. It was very really uh, at 45% the sip was very warming. It had a nice mouth feel before I even started getting any notes. But um, cinnamons, vanilla creams. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of a forestry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like a bark, maybe. I'm getting just these tree green. things. Yeah, like a green aspen. That might be it. I grew up in uh, Evergreen, Colorado. And this almost feels like, ah, oh, I think that is it. So my dad would cut down like an aspen tree that's down. And when you cut a fairly green aspen tree with a chainsaw, mm -hmm. the heat off of that comes up and gives you this wonderful smell that kind of reminds me of this taste. Yeah. That's interesting. I think that's what that is. Hmm. Um, really a nice palate overall. Gently surprising. Yeah, it's very say. soft and rounded. You're not going to have anything in your face here. That's why I think a lot of crowns kind of hit a soft spot for folks that aren't spending a lot of time with whiskey, in my opinion. I think it's a, a gentle approach into whiskey, which is where this Canadian whiskey, I think, hits a sweet spot for a lot of people. Cinnamon Pop-Tarts. Wow. Kind of a pastry. Like a pastry? With okay. a, like an icing, cinnamon. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a little bit by a, uh, by a cut alpine tree. Okay. There's nothing. You're that, sitting on the tree. You're taking a break. You're eating your cinnamon right. pop-tart. And, and, and the chainsaw is cooling. And I thought, let me break out that cinnamon pop-tart. I've been waiting a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that aspen's just sitting there just freshly cut. I well, what we should do splitting wood once. What we should do is compare this to Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I have? I had to wait until I took should, the sip. Yeah, you know there. what we should do? Pull down an Elijah inside. Craig Barrel Proof. Do a direct comparison. Everything in, gets compared. Inside Joe. Oh, watch the. Uh, Watch the episode with Wild Turkey. Wild Turkey. Master's Key. The Master's Voyage. Key. <laughs> because <laughs> just watch it. Yeah, but I, I think we could almost do a show. Brilliant. Everything compared to Elijah Craig Barrel. Brilliant. <laughs> we can do a spoof on ourselves. Like, what about this? Ta da! What about that? That might be a little fun one. Right. I like that idea. That'd be a special. All right. You got to um, keep grabbing. You had your hand resting on this yeah, earlier. Now you keep moving it. Yeah. Pulling, it's it, touchable. pulling it towards you. I love the marketing of Crown Royal. I like the bags. I do like this bottle yes, style. Yes, the bottle's nice. The cap is good. The, the little strap is only on one side. They are masters of the marketing. I'm telling you. Everything's touchable, grippable, easy on the eye. I'm really getting a nice finish with this. It's, I mean, for 45%, it is hanging around. I'm still yeah. kind of getting some nodes and stuff from it. These yeah. sweet, the pastry, cinnamons, pastry, finishing, vanilla. It's like a doughy kind of finish, which is what I'll get uh, sometimes from an unmalted barley. So, hmm. Yeah, drop of water on mine. I didn't mm. give you one there. It. I don't think I would, but let me see what happens. Um, 45 is coming in a little light for me. That's 100% sippable at 45. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But nice. we like to add the water. Um, it's tasty. Uh, it hasn't really changed it. Maybe caramels are showing a little bit more. Mm. A white chocolate. Maybe that was there before as well. Yeah, I don't nice. think it changed it at all. Huh? Didn't do nothing. The only thing I'd be interested in doing is that comparison. <laughs> um, uh, it's good. It's, okay, I'll score first. It's exceeding. It's a, but it's a 87 for me. I was going to 88. Okay, it's a little tamed okay. down. I would like something, but, I don't good. know, a little bit, little bit more in my face. But I like them bold and punchy. Yeah. So, all right, now, it, cost. $80. Okay. Yeah. Sure. 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 Yeah. 
And that's really, I think, where the Noble collections have been coming. They've been right in that price, $70 to $80, I think, for several years. We haven't really seen a, an increase there. Uh, it would be interesting to go back, and if we had any of the others, and it's been several years since we oh, did. Oh, compared? I don't, I, I don't even remember outside of the... the they had some cool ones. Northern for Harvest Rye. Rye edition. Well, the Northern Harvest Rye was like a really low entry point. That, that was one, a noble. But they did that they you know they did a noble collection. Oh, they did a noble with, with the Northern Harvest Rye? Or just Harvest Rye or Northern I Rye remember or something. There was one I liked that was in the Noble collection that had something to do with it. Spent some time in Oh, was it some kind of cognac cask or something? Yeah, I and so. I liked that one a lot. That one. Well, no, that was just like the Crown XO. Maybe it was that. I don't know. I've got some sitting Which over at the house. That's really. Maybe we should pull them out. I think I do. They're sitting somewhere. I would say that's part of the problem for me as someone with a ton of whiskey, kind of like you have. There's almost at no point where I'm like, you know what I want? I want a little Crown Noble collection. That doesn't even like cross the frontal lobe. This does spur, it wasn't the Noble Collection. We, a while back, we did the Crown Royal 18 year, which was a special edition that came out. Unimpressive yeah. for the price. It was like $150. Yeah. This one is, from memory, better than the 18 year. And people still call me nuts. And I know there was a whole thing with the whiskey Bible and stuff, but I still like the cheap Northern Harvest Rye. It was $18. Mm -hmm. I bought a case of it. He was like, what? <laughs> and I still have two of those left. And I saw one the other day when I was rearranging. I'm like, I'm opening that up. And I still liked it. Yeah. So it is. Uh, it not is. bad. It, I, think, I think this one's worth it. Not bad. A uh, decent score. A uh, little bit more here on the pout than I was expecting. Um, it's, it's nice. It tastes really good. It's yeah. just soft, rounded, approachable. Yeah. And so it may be right up your alley if that's what you're looking for. Yep. Scotch. Nope. Oh, oh you got to That's it. I was going right. to end it. Yeah. Scotch it. You scotch. God. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.